Vatican City in the year 1979. A scholar named Thomas observed a comet which passed over the moon in the night sky. Thomas rushed to find a scroll that foretold the sign called the Eye of God. The scroll says that under the sign, a girl will be born and she will later bear the devil's child who will bring about the earth's destruction. Thomas went to the Pope to inform him. The Pope instructs emissaries to go out into the world to find the child but some of the cardinals are afraid to let the girl live so they ask the Pope to kill her. The Pope assured them they that are men of faith and should trust in God to deliver the world. The Pope then tasks Thomas with finding the girl and keeping her safe. Six hours later that night in New York City, a woman in labor gave birth to a baby girl. A nurse moves the baby to be cleaned and she is met by suspicious hospital staff in the morgue. The doctor who is their leader puts the baby on a ritual mat and checks the baby's left arm which reveals a serpent birthmark. The staff members who belong to an evil cult group witnessed a ceremony conducted by their leader before the nurse earlier returned the baby to her mother. Twenty years later, which is the current year 1999 during Christmas, an earthquake shook the streets in New York which caused gas pipes to leak and fire burned out from inside holes on the streets. An invisible entity flew out of the flames into the night. In a small restaurant, a man is dining with a couple. The man got up to use the bathroom and the invisible entity went into the bathroom and possessed him. The entity which now possessed the man came out of the bathroom and proceeded to lock lips with the wife. The husband tried to stop the possessed man but is too afraid because the man's demeanor changed. The possessed man who will call the man, then left the restaurant which blew up as he went outside. The man can be seen walking through the flames. It is now the 29th of December 1999 and the world is in fear of Y2K and the apocalypse. A man named Jericho who is suffering from depression is attempting suicide in his apartment when his co-worker knocks on the door. Jericho's co-worker Bobby updates Jericho on their mission to protect a Wall Street banker. Jericho asks why he needs protection and also notes that he likes scumbags as they pay better. Later that day, Jericho and his team are escorting their employer. They have multiple cars and a helicopter guarding them. When they arrived at their destination, it is revealed that their employer was none other than the man. Jericho spots a shooter and rushed to push the man back into the escort limousine. While doing so, Jericho was shot by the shooter. The escort limousine drove off and the shooter started escaping to the roof. Bobby went to check on Jericho and was relieved that he had his bulletproof vest on. Jericho got up and called for their helicopter which carried them to the roof. On the roof, the shooter and Jericho had a shootout. The shooter started running away and Jericho used the ropes to hang below the helicopter as they chased after the shooter. The shooter ran to the roof's edge to jump off but Jericho caught him in time. The shooter pulled out a pistol to shoot Jericho which made Jericho let go of the rope to defend himself. The two drop down while struggling but Jericho grabbed the rope before they hit the ground which causes him to let go of the shooter. Jericho chased the shooter into a train station and they ended up on the train tracks. Jericho asked the shooter to lower his weapon but the man kept screaming the thousand years have ended before pointing his gun at Jericho. Jericho quickly incapacitated the shooter and found out he is a priest as he is wearing a clerical collar. Bobby arrives as Jericho found a bar card in the shooter's jacket. Later the police arrived and medics attended to the shooter priest. A detective named Marge Francis who knew Jericho came over to him and asked him if he was still drinking. Jericho and Bobby were not happy with the question but Detective Francis revealed that Jericho's statement that the shooter priest talked to him was false as the shooter priest had no tongue. This surprised Jericho and Bobby. Detective Francis kicked them out of the crime scene. The two later went to the bar at the address Jericho found and asked for information about the priest. They managed to get information about where the priest stayed and went there. Inside Jericho found out that what the shooter priest said earlier was a quote from the book of Revelations in the New Testament. Looking further, they found the priest's tongue which he cut out himself, and they also found a photo of a young woman named Christine York. They deduce that the shooter priest is a hitman. Just then, Detective Francis and the police barged into the shelter. Detective Francis revealed that the priest none other than the Vatican scholar Thomas. Jericho is puzzled as to why Thomas would like to kill his employer and the detective notes that the man is also missing. Jericho and Bobby then left the shelter. 
That night Christine saw a man on the train who called her name and kept saying he's coming for you, Christine. When Christine touched the stranger, he broke into pieces like glass and his head was still talking. Christine realized she was having hallucinations and rushed to call her psychiatrist. Her psychiatrist told her she is fine and just need to take some medication. Her stepmother which was the cult nurse who was responsible for getting her cleaned when she was a baby came in to comfort her. Jericho went to the parish where Thomas used to be associated with to get more information about Thomas. The priest in charge, Father Glasses told Jericho that he already spoke to the police but Jericho insisted on knowing why a priest would want to assassinate a man. Father Glasses said that something will happen in a few days and asked Jericho if he believes in God to which Jericho replied not since his wife and daughter died. Father Glasses asked Jericho to see himself out and left for the basement. Jericho sneaked in behind the father and saw a woman who had stigmata tied to a bed. The lady was speaking in a different language and she screamed when she saw Jericho. Father Glasses then asked Jericho to leave as Jericho is a non-believer. Later that night, Christine had a nightmare where she was in bed with the man. Christine woke up screaming and afraid and her stepmother came in to comfort her yet again. The next day the man visited Thomas in the hospital. Father Thomas recognized him but could not do anything as he is restrained to his bed. When Jericho, Bobby and Detective Francis came in to interrogate Father Thomas, he is tied up to the ceiling like how Jesus was crucified using scalpels and scissors. They cut him down and were trying to figure out how and what happened to him. On Father Thomas's chest were the same words he spoke to Jericho and another set of words saying Christ in New York. When they were still reading the engraving on his chest, Father Thomas suddenly woke up and was shot dead by a police officer. Jericho and Bobby left and Jericho was convinced that the extra set of words engraved on Father Thomas's chest is a name. They ran the possible names through their system and found Christine York's details. Jericho decided to go find her. Christine was exercising when her butler Carson came to inform her to go have lunch with her stepmother. While Christine was getting ready to shower she saw blood on the floor and found her butler dead in the sink. Some men came in and tried to capture her. One of them caught her on her bed and did a ritual before trying to kill her. Jericho entered Christine's home and heard the struggle so he fought with the men to save her. Jericho went into the bedroom where their leader was performing the last rites and fought with the guy. Jericho and the man struggled but he managed to escape leaving his necklace in Jericho's grasp. Later that night Jericho was interrogating Christine in their house. Jericho wanted to find the connection between the events and Father Thomas. Christine's stepmother came in to comfort her. Jericho takes his leave but steals a religious book from the bookshelf. Elsewhere the man is waiting for Christine to be delivered to him by Christine's stepmother but she is afraid that Jericho will follow them. Back to Jericho, who was reading the book, he stole in his van. Jericho makes a connection with the men who attacked Christine to an order of Vatican Knights. Jericho rushes back inside to tell Christine. While they were discussing the issue, Christine had another hallucination. She apologizes to Jericho for her reaction but Jericho also saw the same thing. The two then discuss Christine's visions. Outside, the man is seen outside Jericho's van. The man urinates on the street and ignites it with a cigarette killing Bobby who was inside the truck. The blast explodes cars in the parking lot and a huge fire broke out. Jericho took Christine to escape but was blocked by Christine's stepmother. She fought Jericho and she is shown to have some level of super strength. Christine helps Jericho and Jericho manages to smash her head through a table. Christine and Jericho ran upstairs as the man entered the house while taunting Christine. The man went to Christine's stepmother and killed her. Jericho and Christine escaped outside and met Detective Francis and a police officer who started shooting at Jericho. The detective convinces Jericho to surrender and hand over Christine. Jericho surrendered and the detective ordered the officer to kill Jericho. Jericho shot them before the officer could kill him and they escaped. The man came and resurrected Detective Francis while Jericho and Christine ran to the park to hide from the police. Jericho and Christine went to the Catholic parish. Jericho demanded answers from Father Glasses. The priest asked Jericho to put away his gun and they went into the basement. There they meet the stigmata woman who is completely healed. Father Glasses explained the prophecy to Jericho and Christine and showed Christine some symbols. 
Christine revealed the birthmark on her arm and Father Glasses notes that she has been chosen. He explains that every thousand years the devil comes to earth to mate with a chosen bride and their offspring will bring about the apocalypse. Jericho was cynical about the prophecy and told Christine they should leave however, Christine believed the priest and decided to stay back. Back at his apartment, the man appeared to Jericho. He asked where Christine is and Jericho refused to tell him. He then tempted Jericho with visions of Jericho's family and promised to bring them back should Jericho give him Christine's location. Jericho still refused so he made Jericho watch his family's last moments before they were killed. Jericho and Range told the man to go to hell and they started fighting. The man threw Jericho out the window but he managed to hang on the ledge. Jericho tricked the man into grabbing his hand and he pulled the man out of the window. The man crashed into a car below and Jericho climbed back in. The man then uses deadly Bobby to get the information out of Jericho. Jericho suspects that the man took Bobby's body so he shot Bobby. He then realized it was Bobby and he told Bobby where Christine was. Back at the Catholic parish, the Vatican Knights and the disapproving Cardinal met Father Glasses. They then took Christine despite the father protesting. They started performing the last rites and were about to kill Christine but Jericho got there in time and stopped them. Jericho held the Cardinal at gunpoint and the Cardinal told the Knights to release Christine. Suddenly the candles in the church burnt strongly and the man walked in. Father Glasses instructed Jericho and Christine to run as the priests confronts the man. The man knocked down Father Glasses and killed the Cardinal. Outside, a group of people approached Jericho and Christine. Bobby arrived in a car but only let Christine in while Jericho was beaten to a pulp by the group. The man came and instructed the people to tie Jericho like he was crucified and hang him on a building to die. The next day, Father Glasses found Jericho. Jericho was taken to the parish basement to be treated. When he woke up he went to find Christine despite Father Glasses' protests. Jericho went to his workplace and geared up. He used the GPS on the car Bobby used and found the car's location. Jericho went to the building nearby marked by the symbols and followed the passageway to a railway. Jericho continued until he found the cult in the middle of a ritual where the man is preparing to mate with Christine. Detective Francis saw Jericho and sneaked up behind him. A gunshot was heard and the detective fell as Jericho turned around and shot the man with a machine gun and took Christine hostage. The man called in Bobby and instructs him to kill Jericho. Bobby reveals he made a pact with the man when was about to be burnt to death in the explosion. Jericho was hesitant to kill Bobby and Bobby could not kill Jericho either. The man then let Bobby burn to death and Jericho, enraged, shot the man down. They got back up and Jericho shot a grenade into a gas pipe causing explosions. Jericho and Bobby got outside to the train tracks and were almost run over by a train. The train stopped and they got on. Jericho shot some of the people chasing them as he urges the train operator to take them away. The man was standing in front of the train and the operator wanted to stop the train. Jericho stopped the operator and they hit the man. The man started breaking through the train to grab Christine and Jericho shot at him to stop him. The man came behind the operator and killed him before pulling him outside. Jerick and Christine went to the back carriages and Jericho disconnected them from the front one. The man got into the front carriage and jumped toward the two, but Jericho shot the man with a grenade launcher, sending him flying back to the front carriage. The man and the carriage exploded. Jericho and Christine held tight as the carriages crashed into each other and then escaped. The man is seen dismembered and the invisible entity left his body to chase after Christine and Jericho. The two ran and escaped into the street but met the cult people who chased them. They then ran into a church and barricaded it. Jericho chased everyone out with a submachine gun. Jericho looked around the church and had a change of heart. He realized the only way to defeat the man would be to pray. Suddenly the statues in the church started bursting into flames and things started breaking apart. The entity broke out from the floor and revealed itself to Jericho before passing through him. Christine ran to Jericho and Jericho told her he was fine. Christine held Jericho's hand and was about to leave but Jericho revealed that he is possessed and is now the man. He took Christine to the altar and was about to mate with her but Christine managed to snap Jericho back by talking to him. Jericho forced himself to stop and jumped on the sword of a statue of St. Michael. Outside, 
it revealed that the new year 2000 has begun, ending the dark hour. A huge flame exited Jericho and the entity rode at Jericho before being pulled back to hell. Christine came to cry at his hand showing her gratitude. Outside the citizens celebrate the new year, oblivious to what has transpired. That's all we have for you today. Please like and subscribe to support the channel.